So guys, so this, today's video, I'm just going to show you just exactly how a car door lock works. This is out of a Toyota Carina, which is this it uses the same lock mechanism as pretty much all older Toyotas with the key uh, entrance. It also has central locking this model, so there, th th this I took this out because it has broken out, so I glued it back into place. Properly, it fits because you can see this piece here is bent because it has been pushed in. And this whole piece here was bent due to that, so I'm gonna bend it back and mount this back in the car, even though all the mounts here are broken. So I'm gonna try to keep, put it back in the car, or glue it back, or mount it back. I don't know. Um, even though I'm gonna find a way to fasten the lock, but that's the most important bit here because you don't want that. If you glue this back in place, you don't want anyone to rip it out and uh, pull this thing and lock up the car even though my car has alarm with the remote so but yeah you know it's uh, it's safety 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 so there is the lock assembly itself um, and this is pretty much how it works when you put in the key to the barrel here you can see that those things move those teeth uh, just zoom in here so you can see those, if you pull out the key, you can see how they move. Now, that thing is not possible to turn because they are locking up and won't turn. If you put the key all the way in, you can see all, the way, all of them go flat. And then, you have the possibility to turn the key and the lock of the car. And this is also why it's important to lubricate the lock assembly. Especially in the winter times, because you can see this is just twisting inside a barrel there, or twisting inside a cylinder here. And if ice or water gets in there, that will freeze up. So use WD-40 or some kind of uh, uh, lock oil to to uh, just lubricate that thing to make sure it doesn't freeze up in the winter. They are usually lub lubricated from the factory, but this, since this is a car from 96, that lubrication is pretty much gone. So this is pretty much how all locks work. So I'm going to also investigate my other door, which has a problem where the key goes in, but won't turn. But this turns like just like it should. Or the key turns, but it just doesn't unlock the car. So I believe it's a broken mount, just like this one. You can see this is just just broke straight off the door or the old the whole locking mechanism I believe I can put this back into place because I believe you can just order these plastic thingies or get, take them out of other cars or something like that because it is only that plastic thingy that's broken and that's just to twist off twist off and pull out so that's important that's a it's a easy fix but this is a plastic it will break so that, hey, that is how a lock cylinder works. So I uh, hope this was a detailed enough video for you. And uh, yeah, that's how it is. Door handle. It's also a good idea to probably, probably lube up this or put some better rubber isolating uh, pads in here because this, those will harden up over time and make the handles rattle, rattle. perhaps the spring is uh, sometimes to perhaps be rotated one time just because the springs get worn out you know, or just replace the spring because my back doors in my car has very worn out springs so the, car, the, the handle sits very loose to the door and it rattles when I play music so the front doors doesn't do anything, the front doors keeps nice and shut, is that right? But the back doors have really weak suspension to them, so I'm probably going to disassemble the back doors to tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, I believe, turn that spring around one time. You can do that, because you can just take out the whole uh, metal bar there. So, uh, yeah, you can see it's a bit rusted, so that's a good thing to also oil. You can see this spring is pretty loose. I believe you can actually just push up here and uh, 
Yeah, you can actually turn the spring around one time already from here. So, and since this spring is already pretty compressed, it's doing a great job, as you can hear. It does. It does hit the whole thing. It does rattle a bit, so it's probably just the mounts because it's it's plastic, so it makes some noise. But you can perhaps just put some, uh, you know, uh, the the very the very grease the gre for uh, the greasy uh, oil the what is it actually called grease I believe. Uh, in here, just make sure uh, just to lubricate everything. It also will prevent rust and water to build up. So, so that that's that how that is, guys. That's how a lock cylinder works.